Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn about the strike price of an option. Okay. Now, in the previous video, I had used this to explain you the concept of call option and put option. Correct. Recalling this, the date is May 1st and the price at which the stock of Ultratech Cement is trading is 1000 and the market price, current market price at any time is called as spot price. There is a buyer, there is a seller. Buyer says, I want to have the choice of buying the stock at 1000 rupees on or before May 31st. So May 31st is the expiry of the option or choice. Why does he do it? Because he believes the price will go up. Okay. Seller says, okay, I will give you your choice for a non-refundable amount of 10 rupees, which we call it as premium. Why does the seller sell this choice to the buyer? Because he believes the price will go down. Okay. So this is what we had this was what we had seen in the previous video. So the buyer tried to strike a deal at 1000 rupees. What is 1000 rupees? It was the spot price too, correct? It was the current market price. The buyer tried to strike a deal at 1000 rupees. Am I right? So strike price, strike price was 1000 rupees. Strike price was 1000 rupees. Now what is strike price? The price at which the buyer makes a deal is called as strike price. And in the previous video, the buyer made a deal at 1000 rupees. And 1000 rupees will be the strike price. Okay. Now, how much did the buyer pay to the seller to make the deal or to strike the deal? 10 rupees, correct? So the seller asked for 10 rupees. Buyer gave 10 rupees to the seller. Seller gave the option or choice to the buyer. Okay. So we have our premium here. All right. So in the previous video, the buyer of the call option wanted to strike a deal at the spot price. Now, what is spot price? Spot price is the current market price of the underlying asset. Okay. So what is underlying asset here? It is Ultratech cement stock. All right. So what else can be the underlying asset? It can be indices, it can be commodity or it can be currency. All right. So we had seen this in the previous video. Okay. So in the previous video, the buyer of the call option wanted to strike a deal at the spot price. So that becomes the strike price here. So in the previous video, the buyer wanted to strike a deal at 1000 rupees, correct? And what was 1000 rupees? It was the spot price too. So when the spot price and the strike price are equal or almost equal, then it is called as at the money option. Okay. When the strike price and the spot price are equal or almost equal, then the option is called as at the money option. All right. So I hope you have understood. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this sentence and proceed with my video. Now, now I have deleted this and I have deleted this too. Okay. So this sentence would be now, I want to have the choice of buying the stock at dash rupees on or before May 31st. And here it is, I will give you the choice 
for a non refundable amount of rupees dash okay so here in the dash we have to fill something and what to fill i will tell you okay because you have to use this to remember this okay now one person or the person in the example made a deal at this price correct at this price there will be people there will be people who will be willing to make a deal or strike a deal at this much rupees and for that they have to pay this much amount okay now let us try to understand what is happening here now put this here okay every time you have to put the strike price here and the premium here now read the sentence i want to have the choice of buying the stock at rupees 1100 on or before may 31st that is what the person striking the deal at this money says to the seller okay and for that the seller says okay i will sell you your choice or i will give you your choice for a non refundable amount of rupees 8 rupees 8 okay and why does the person strike a deal at this much money or this uh, rate because he believes that the price will move above this amount okay so he believes that he believes that the price of the stock will move up and it will go above 1100 okay 1100 so he is taking a risk here it may go above 1100 or it may not go because current market price is 1000 1000 rupees okay current market price is 1000 rupees and he is saying that he wants to have a choice of buying the stock at 1100 which is above the current market price okay above the market price why does he do it because he believes the price will go above 1100 he is taking a risk here so he is leaving out this much profit and taking a risk and for taking that risk the premium that he has to pay is less okay for taking that much risk the premium that he has to pay is less okay now if his prediction i can say if his prediction about the movement goes wrong then the maximum that he is going to lose is 8 rupees whereas if the prediction of the person who had bought this strike price goes wrong then he will lose 10 rupees okay yes i hope you have understood now when the strike price when the strike price is above the spot price then it is called as out of the money option okay when the strike price is higher than the spot price then it is called as out of the money option and you must remember that everything that we are learning now is for call option only we will see the put option later okay yes proceeding further there will be some people there will be some people who will be wanting to strike a deal at this price so then this becomes the strike price now what you have to do you have to put this here and you have to put this here in the blank so read out the sentence i want to have the choice of buying the stock at rupees 1200 on or before may 31st that is what he is saying and the seller says okay i will give you your choice for a non refundable amount of rupees 
7 okay and why does the person do that because he believes that the price of the stock will go above 1200 so he is willing to leave this much profit leave this much profit and take a risk and for that risk he has to pay less premium okay less premium so maximum he is going to lose is this all right and since the strike price is higher than the spot price it is called as out of the money option all right and in the same way there will be people who will be wanting to strike a deal at this price by paying this much premium okay why do they do that because they believe that the price will move above 1300 they believe that okay now they are willing to leave out this much profit and for that risk they will be paying lesser premium okay lesser premium now looking at this and thinking logically this doesn't make any sense correct so the price is at 1000 the price is at 1000 so this is a good profit here but why would someone want to buy this he can buy this itself correct so if the price moves above 1300 that is good but if he strikes the deal here then his profit will be very good correct so that is what you think which is correct but there are many things complex things that cannot be explained here okay so for now use this or these sentences to understand how the strike price and premium are related okay and slowly as we proceed through the video series everything will be clear to you okay now this is the strike price and this is the spot price too correct and so it is called as add the money option now let us go up there will be people in the market who will be wanting to strike a deal at this price okay so basically what they are saying is i want to have the choice of buying the stock at rupees 900 on or before may 31st and the seller will demand a premium and here in this case the person is or will be giving 11 rupees okay now why do they want to strike a deal at this amount why do they want to do that to earn more profit okay now see the price is already above 900 rupees it is 1000 rupees and when does a person buy call option when he believes that the price will go up when the price goes up he earns a profit correct so when the price goes up and up the difference between the strike price and the spot price becomes more correct so now it is 100 minus uh, sorry 1000 minus 900 which is 100 let us say the price moves to 1500 okay 1500 so it will be 1500 minus 900 next let us say it goes to 2000 rupees 2000 rupees minus 900 which is much more correct so as he buys this the difference between the spot price and the strike price will go on increasing as the spot price goes on increasing and by that he will be making more profit correct but it is a risk too that he is taking there is an inherent risk here which i am not talking about 
because it may confuse you but he just wants to earn more profit and for that for that he is willing to pay a higher premium okay he is willing to pay a higher premium now this premium is calculated in a different way which we will be learning in the future video okay for now do not worry how this is calculated just know that just know that for the options the premium varies according to strike price and how does it vary that is what we are seeing here okay as we progress through the video series everything uh, will be clear all right now when the strike price is less than the spot price it is called as in the money option or itm option in the money so since 900 is less than 1000 which is spot price this is in the money option okay so similarly in the market there will be people who will be wanting to strike a deal at 800 rupees by paying higher premium because they too believe that the price will move up and when it moves up the difference between spot and strike price will be more and they will earn profit more okay and for that reason they are willing to pay higher price higher premium okay now they have a risk too they have a risk too if the price moves less than 800 let us say uh, if the price of the stock moves less than 800 then he will lose all this money 12 rupees he will lose this premium this higher premium okay so if this person uh, or uh, if the if the spot price moves below 900 rupees then this person will lose 11 rupees okay yes in the same way a person or many will be ready to strike a deal at 700 rupees by paying 13 rupees premium because they want more profit okay they have risk too and they have an advantage too which we will see slowly and when the spot price is greater than the strike price it is called as in the money option all right and here you can see here you can see all the strike prices all the strike prices which are less than the spot prices will have higher premium than the at the money and all the strike prices which are greater than the spot prices will have lower premium than the at, than at the money okay or one more way to think of this is as the strike price increases in call option as the strike price increases in the call option the premium goes on decreasing okay premium goes on decreasing all right so at the money is nothing but strike price equal to or almost equal to spot price here in the money strike price is less than spot price here out of the money strike price is higher than spot price okay yes now this is about call option now let us proceed to put option and before we proceed to put option let me take this slide from the previous video here the buyer says that i want to have the choice of selling the stock at thousand rupees and the seller says that okay you have to pay a premium of 10 rupees okay so here the choice is of selling and so it is called as put option all right now here too in this example the strike price is thousand rupees the spot price is 1000 rupees what is strike price the price at which the deal is made okay and since both are equal it is at the money or it becomes at the money all right 
so in the previous video the buyer of the put option wanted to strike a deal at the spot price so it becomes at the money option okay premium paid was 10 rupees now i'm going to take this and edit it so that you can understand it better all right so i've done it here i've done it here I have removed this and this so that you can put strike price here and premium here. Okay. Now, for put option, for put option, everything is opposite to that of call option. Okay. Everything is opposite to that of call option. Now, this was the initial deal or at the money deal. There will be people in the market, there will be people in the market who will be willing to strike a deal at this price by paying a premium of 9 rupees. Okay. So now stick this here and stick this here. When you do that, it will become, I want to have the choice of selling the stock at 900 rupees on or before may 31st so the seller says okay i will give you or sell you your choice or option for a non-refundable amount of nine rupees nine rupees okay now why does the person do that why does he want to uh, buy this strike price because he believes that the price of the stock will go lesser than this okay he believes that it will go below 900 rupees and for that and for that reason he is paying premium which is 9 which is less than this he is taking a risk here he is taking a risk here and for that risk he is paying lesser premium because the price may not go below 900 it is 1000 now and he is going to make money only when it moves below 900. If it doesn't move below 900, he is going to lose this much amount. So there is a risk involved and for that involved risk, he is paying lesser premium. And here in put option, if the strike price is less than spot price, then it is called as out of the money option okay strike price if it is less than spot price it is out of the money option okay so in the same way there will be people willing to strike a deal at 800 rupees they will say that i want to have the choice of selling the stock at 800 rupees and for that i will be paying 8 rupees premium okay why do they do that? Because they believe that the price will move below 800 rupees, which is a risk that they are taking because current price is 1000 rupees. And for the risk that they take, they are paying lesser premium. And in the same way, people willing to, people are willing to pay a premium of 7 rupees to strike a deal at 700 rupees. Because they believe that the price will move below 700 rupees. Okay. And all these are called as out of the money options. Now, going in the opposite way. There will be people who will be willing to strike a deal at 1100 rupees. By paying higher premium. Okay. They say that they will they say that I want to have the choice of selling the stock at 1100 rupees by paying 11 rupees. Okay. So current market price is already below the strike price. Strike price is 1100. Spot is 1000. Currently it is below 1000. But what they believe is still it will move down. And when it moves down, the difference will be more between the spot price and the strike price. And so I will make more profit. That is what they believe. Okay. And for this, they pay higher premium. 
okay higher premium there is a risk involved here too that that they will lose this much money this much money if the price does not move below 1100 or let us say price rises to 1100 1100 and they are going to lose everything here okay similarly we have 1200 higher premium 1300 13 premium higher premium and when and when the spot price spot price is less than strike price it is called as in the money option that is in the case of puts okay put option when the strike price is higher than the spot price then it is called as in the money option okay so at the money meaning strike price equal to or almost equal to spot price out of the money strike price less than spot price in the money strike price higher than spot price okay now we will learn about calculating premium in a different video but this whatever you are seeing here can be noticed in an option chain okay option chain is something that gives you the data of strike price premium volume traded open interest and so on all right i do not want to confuse you once again by giving out too many details too much details right now but just know that here in put option as the strike price increases the premium increases okay as this increases this increases which is opposite to that of call option all right yes so i hope it is clear i'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you for watching